Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, trailer drops. Jason Momoa returns with a son. Amber Heard's comeback in DC sequel. By Wilson Chapman. Warner Brothers. Has finally released the long-awaited trailer for, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Marking the return of Jason Momoa as the iconic DC hero Aquaman after a five-year hiatus. In this sequel, Momoa reprises his role as Arthur Curry, the half-human, half-Atlantean ruler of Atlantis. He joins forces with his half-brother, Orm, played by Patrick Wilson, to confront the relentless pirate Black Manta, portrayed by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. The official logline reads, Having previously failed to defeat Aquaman, Black Manta is still consumed by the desire to avenge his father's death, and he will stop at nothing to bring Aquaman to justice once and for all. This time, Black Manta is even more formidable, wielding the power of the legendary Black Trident, unleashing an ancient and malevolent force. To stand a chance against this formidable foe, Aquaman must turn to his incarcerated brother Orm, the former king of Atlantis, forming an unlikely alliance. Together, they must set aside their differences to protect their kingdom, save Aquaman's family, and prevent irreversible destruction of the world. Returning to reprise their roles from the original film are Amber Heard, Nicole Kidman, Tamara Morrison, Willem Dafoe, and Dolph Lundgren with Randall Park making a return appearance as Dr. Stephen Shen after his cameo in the first movie. Joining the cast are Vincent Regan, India Moore, and Palo Asbeck. James Wan returns as the director, with David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick penning the script. Notably, this movie has garnered significant attention due to Amber Heard's return following last year's highly publicized defamation trial involving her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. During the trial, Heard claimed that her role in the film was reduced by the studio following her divorce from Depp, which led to her experiencing severe online harassment. She revealed that she received $1 million for her role in the first, Aquaman, and $2 million for the sequel, though her role was described as, significantly scaled down. However, director James Wan clarified to Entertainment Weekly that the sequel was always intended to focus on the relationship between Arthur and Orm. From the beginning, I pitched this idea to everyone. The first, Aquaman, was about Arthur and Mary's journey, while the second one was always meant to be centered around Arthur and Orm. So, the first film was a romantic action adventure, and the second one is an action-packed adventure centered on their brotherly bond. The release of the Aquaman sequel marks the fourth DC film to hit theaters this year, following less than stellar performances of Shazam, Fury of the Gods, The Flash, and Blue Beetle. As DC Studios undergoes a reboot led by co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran, no official decisions have been announced regarding Aquaman's future in the revamped DC universe or Jason Momoa's involvement in upcoming projects. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.